All right, in this video, I'm going to work through the dimensional analysis example that's found on page 312 in your textbooks. So you can follow along if you'd like. All right, so here is what the question on page 312 looks like. And this is going to be a lot more complicated than the one we just did with the Prius and the gas mileage in the previous video. So we're going to have because we have a lot we have a lot of different units to deal with. So in more complicated problems like this, I like to write out all of the ratios because remember dimensional analysis is based on rates. So I'm going to set up my rates here. Um, and the first one, I'll just kind of read through and pick them out. So your paycheck for two weeks comes out to $1,200. So my first rate here is $1,200 every two weeks. So you get paid $1,200 per two weeks. If we continue reading, it says you work eight hours a day. So that is going to be eight hours per one day. And clearly you might say, well, there's 24 hours in a day and there absolutely is. But in this problem, one day represents eight hours of work, eight hours of work. So in the context of this problem, a day means eight hours. And we keep reading and it's, it, we see that you work five days per one week. So that's three ratios. And those are all the ones that are given us. So we keep reading and it says, how much are you making per minute in cents? So that means even though you get, you probably get a certain dollar, a certain number of dollars per hour, you could divide that up and think of it in terms of how much you make each minute. So we're gonna have to do a couple of other conversions here. Um, we see that there are two basic types of units we're looking at time like hours or days or weeks and money like dollars and cents and we see that the time we need to get down into minutes and the smallest unit of time we have here is hours so we're going to need to go from hours to minutes at some point so i'm going to use the fact that there's 60 minutes in one hour And I'm also going to use the fact that there are 100 cents in $1. So these are the five rates that I'm going to use to do my dimensional analysis. And the question is, where do we start? Well, to answer that, we have to ask ourselves the question, where do we want to end up? And where we want to end up here is with some kind of answer over on the right. I'll write it over on the right. We want to have some number of cents per minute. So our final unit is going to want to have cents on top and minutes on the bottom. So what I can do is look through my five ratio, my five rates here and choose the one that has cents already on the top. So I'm going to start out with my numerator being exactly what I need it to be. And that is the last rate I wrote up here, 100 cents per $1. So I'm going to write that over on the left. And it's already said, and remember, we can flip these if we need to, flip any of these. This one comes lined up just right out of the box. So I'm going to write 100 cents per $1. So I'm going to want to keep those cents because that's where I want to end up, but I don't need dollars in my answer. So my next task is to cancel out the dollars. And I see the first rate here will let me do that. So I can, and I see that I'm going to want the dollars on top so that it cancels the dollars on the bottom. So that's going to be a multiplication. And these dollars are going to cancel right out. And I see the next unit I want to get rid of is weeks. My answer of cents per minute doesn't have anything to do with weeks. So let me find a rate that will help me cancel out my weeks. And that's this one right here in the middle. So um, I'm going to have to flip this one because I want this one week on top so that it cancels. Um, remember, this is all about canceling. 
dimensional analysis. So for every one week of time, you work for five days. So that will cancel out my weeks. Next, I have days. There's no days in my answer. I want to cancel out days. I see that this second rate here has days in it. So I've got to flip that one also. So for every one day that goes by, you work eight hours. And that's going to be a multiplier. So that's going to cancel out the day unit. And so the next thing we need to so the next unit we need to look at here is hours. My answer is not hours, it's minutes. So I'm going to use this last rate here to cancel um, my hours out. So the hours are going to go on top so that they can't down on the bottom here. And my 60 minutes is going to go on the bottom. And I feel pretty good about that because I see that I want minutes on the bottom in my answer. So this is how I'm going to set it up. All right, um, forgot to cancel my hours here. So let me cancel those guys. Okay, so now comes the math part. I've taken care of the dimensional analysis part, which is the canceling out of units. So let's look and do the multiplication. So across the top, we have a 100, a 1200, and then three ones. Don't really need the ones there, but I'll just write them in this time so you can see what's going on. And then I'm going to read across the bottom. We have one times two times five times eight times 60. And I already know the unit on top, the only unit unit left on top is cents. So whatever that is, is going to be works out to be that's going to be cents. And the only unit left on the bottom is minutes. So that's going to work out to be minutes. So let's do the math here. Um, if we multiply all those numbers across the top, we get 120,000. And that's cents. And if we multiply all those numbers across the bottom, we get 4,800. And that's minutes. So we need to simplify this down into a unit rate, and we do that just by dividing. So we type 120,000 divided by 4,800, and we see that we get, and I'll write this up, up here, up top here, um, so that it can fill in our final, final um, spot there. We see that we get 25 cents per one minute. So in this scenario, if you make $1,200 every two weeks, you're making 25 cents per minute.